Welcome back to Bat9 Films. I genuinely think, without realising, I have had the easiest club in the world to hit in my bag for the last three years. Seriously, look at this. This club right here, for me, is the easiest club in the world to hit. Now, just to prove this to you, we're going to play the entire 12 hole here at Motcham Hall because if it's an easy club, it should be able to be ripped from the tee rip from the fairway, the rough, we should be able to chip with it and even put with it. Let's get into it. Now, it's going to be interesting for you to see how I hit my hybrid and compare it against your technique because I have my own little ways that really help me hit mine, which might help you too. Okay, let's talk spec. This is a 19 degree F9 one length hybrid. There you go, 19 degrees, okay. And I have got a Fujikura 7X shaft. Now, this thing looks pretty bad if I'm honest. Just look at this. So it's 37 inches in length. So it's exactly the same length as my seven iron. First time I got it, I thought, everybody's looking to look at me here like I've got a kid's club. It honestly is so, so easy to hit and find the middle because it's got that shorter length. And because it's got that 19 degrees, it gets some height and still goes like a bullet. Okay, let's hit this one from the tee. And we're gonna dive more into this, by the way. Does anybody have, get in those comments, the old trusty hybrid that they feel is their easiest club in the world to hit? Whew. Look at the shape of it. And that's why I love it. High and draw. Now from the tee, I always tee that up, only a little bit to where like just a finger underneath it. Uh, that is the, probably the, the bit where it really does surprise me how far this hybrid does go. I reckon I can carry that 230, 235, not on a cold day like this, but definitely most of the time. Also, I think it's time for this bag to go away for the winter. It's white and I play golf in Manchester. Now, time to hit one from the fairway off the lush stuff, and I'm gonna put it in a stinker of a lie and show you how easy this club is to hit at the ball. I know it doesn't look, look like a fairway, we are on the fairway here. It is freezing. Right, okay, now time to show you this. So basically, how I stand to this, I just put it in a seven iron ball position and I just literally put seven iron swing on it to get it up into the air. And because this length of shaft is a lot shorter, then let's say this, have a look at this. This is my five wood, which is yet okay longer than what a normal hybrid would be but a normal hybrid would sort of be around that length there. So you can see it's about that much shorter. That's why it's so much easier to control the face and why it's the easiest club. Okay, let's see if we can hit the green here. Remember, we're gonna play this whole hole out just with this hybrid. I reckon we've got about 2.30 in here. It's away. Left edge of the green, the wind's on it. Keep it there. Come on, roll down. Oh, it's just got caught up on the side. But see that flight again? Some good height, some good draw. So how I go in my setup, I go four iron, okay? And then I go, th well, I count as my three hybrid this, and I'll interchange that with this club. So if I'm playing a Lynx golf course, I'd probably take this out. And this is a lot more for like my easy club for Parkland golf course, i.e. where I play. So I sort of see these two as interchanging. What hybrids do you carry in your bag? I know even one of the guys that I teach had like this seven hybrid. So even I'm saying seven hybrid, not seven iron length, but a seven iron hybrid. Do you carry one of them? What's your hybrids? Okay, I've got a ball here. Let's put it in a stinker of a lie like this here. Look at that. Real stinker of a lie. You can't even see the logo of the ball or anything. I'm gonna hit this one here too. So this should hopefully get up by the green. So I sort of see this club as a great all-rounder. Don't forget, we've got to chip with it. We've got to put with it. And I'm gonna see if I can make a par with it. There might be a bit more of a divot on this one though. Like that. Height, roll, easy to play. Lovely and warm today anyway. How cold is it? Like my dad goes on a golfing trip with about 30 of the guys to Portugal. He goes in about two weeks time every year. I am so jealous, oh, it's so cold. Cause it's so warm and so sunny, this just came off the bank and ended up on the green. No, um, it's still a decent shot though. You got to think, I was all the way back there. See that tree, 
That was all the way back there. Okay, so time to chip with this. This is actually where I'd use it in a comp as well. Like any time that I'm around that fringe, this is far better than duffing a wedge and making an absolute imbecile of myself. Okay, so have a look at this. All I'm going to do is make a putting stroke and just bimble it down there. That is a nasty flag. It's meant to be, it's meant to be the winter. Greenkeeper's going to put it not on a ridge. Right, here we go. Proofs in the pudding, Alex. No pressure, mate. This is actually hard. So far below my feet. Look at that. Go on, then. Go on, then. Oh. Go on, then. Oh. Every chance. You thought that was in, too. Okay, so I'm actually so tempted to book a flight. I usually go to Portugal uh, and do some filming at Panina. That does mean booking the most reliable airline in the world, Ryanair. Um, but I feel like Portugal's like a good place to go in it. Loads of golf courses. Um, all golf courses seem to like be really good, Nick. But where, where do you guys usually go? Okay, I'm going to give this the full works here. I, there's pressure on to make a part. I said this is the easiest club in the world to hit. We've gone tee, we've gone fairway, we've gone rough. We've gone a decent chip, nearly even chipped in. Um, and now I'm going to roll this little knee knocker in. Dennis Wise. Nasty five foot of this. There we go. Right. A little bit left to right this, all the way. A little bit left to right. This is going straight in. I genuinely would use this club if I snapped my putter. Let's raise that, I would never snap my putter. I didn't have a, an angry temper as a young golfer at all. No. Bet people can't actually imagine me being an angry young golfer. I've got to say, I'm going to admit something to you right now. I was an angry young golfer. Here we go. Get in the hole! Genuinely, I haven't parred that hole in an absolutely... I say donkey's years, but not donkey's years, in a very long time. Guys, thank you so much for watching another video here on Back 9 Films. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We've got videos four times a week.